we will hold every member of your group responsible, no matter who pulls the trigger or why. Let me make this as clear as possible. If a member of your group shoots anyone for any reason, we will do all that we can to violate probation or parole for every member of the group. It will now be your responsibility to keep each other in check. The gun violence must stop. Next, you're going to hear from Caroline McGlynn. She works for me as a chief of my South Bureau, and she is in charge of prosecuting all cases in South Philadelphia. Gentlemen, my name is Caroline McGlynn. Like the DA said, I'm in charge of all the cases that are prosecuted in South Philadelphia. Every arrest from South comes across my desk. I've been prosecuting cases myself down from South Philly for almost a decade. I know who you are. I've spent close to a year looking at all of your records, all of your family's records, all of your friends' records. I know who you are. I know where you've been arrested. I know why you've been arrested. And nine times out of 10, I know why you did what you did. It's called intelligence, and we've spent a lot of time putting it together. As the commissioner said, you are now on a list you don't want to be on. You are at the top of everyone's list, priority. I don't want to put you in jail. I don't want to see you dead. I felt the same way about Damon Stafford. I felt the same way about Nasir Westbrook. I felt the same way about Jojo Knight and about Jamal Parker. Those are just a few. I hear minutes after someone is dead, and I'm tired of it. Now, if the violence doesn't stop, I will do everything, everything under the law that I can to make you pay. Because you all have lost sight of who you really are. You're the brothers, the sons, the fathers, the friends of your community. But your community doesn't see you like that anymore, and you'll hear about that. Now, what do these new rules mean for you? What do they really mean? It means, just like the DA said, if a shooting happens, and we'll know who did it, and we'll know what group was involved and why it happened. If you shoot, we'll come after you with everything we have. And we will also do the same for everyone that you normally associate with. And like the DA said, it doesn't matter if an arrest is made. We will know who did it, and we will still come after you. So if one of you shoots, all of you go down. If you are on probation, life will get harder for you. You will be home visited more. You will get drug tested more. You will have restrictions as to where you can go and when you can be there. Like the judge said, you may now be uh, supervised by a homicide judge. You may now be supervised by a president or administrative judge. But make no mistake, every judge who supervises you now will know that you've been warned. You were once part of the larger group of people who committed crimes in this city because everyone is here because they've committed many crimes and are at least supervised for one right now. You were once part of that larger group. Now you're part of a very small few who've been warned and who are the priority. I suggest you take all of this information back to your associates and your friends and your family because remember, if they shoot, you go down too. This has to stop. The violence has got to stop. You have got to put down the guns, and this is your last chance. 